All right, so as I said in the previous video, just waiting on the transport truck to pick up the, the Lambo, and then it's heading off to Lamborghini, uh, not Lamborghini, it's heading to Dallas Performance for uh, their Stage 2 Twin Turbo build. Uh, extremely excited, just waiting for the truck to come pick up the car, and then it's about a week to get to Dallas, and then it's a two month build time. So while I'm waiting for the truck to pick up the car, I'm just doing some basic things like detailing it uh, and just getting it nice and clean so that I don't have to worry about cleaning it when I get the car back. Uh, so right now I'm just taking off all the wheels and tires one by one and I'm just getting all the brake dust off them. So I'm taking the tires completely off so I can get all the brake dust inside there. Um, and uh, so, like I said, so when the car gets to Dallas it's nice and clean and if it comes back dirty at least it's not because of me. So I'm um, pretty excited about this. I'll be posting updates on the channel um, when the car leaves, when it gets picked up, and Taylor from Dallas Performance is going to be sending me picture updates too of the build process so you guys will get to see the whole process, the engine coming out, everything. Uh, so like I said, it's a stage two build. That's the built motor, billet axles, uh, new clutch should put me at 800, 800, 850 wheel horsepower, going back to all wheel drive for traction. And on race gas, I think it makes, it's gonna make around 1,000 uh, 1, or 1,100 wheel horsepower. Pretty insane. So I'm just gonna go back to taking these wheels off, cleaning them, and just getting the car ready. So this is just how I jack up the car when I don't have the lift available. You can see I have the talon on the lift. Didn't feel like taking the talon off the lift and backing it out too much work so um, to take these front tires off I'm basically jacking up the car uh, on its jack front jack points and uh, I don't really like just jacking up one side because I feel it puts too much stress on the car so I'm jacking it up a little bit on this side and then I've got another jack on this side so I'm basically alternating so I can evenly lift the front of the car so I've already done this wheel Let's see how clean that looks compared to this one over here. I don't know how well you can tell in the, in the video, but this thing's covered in brake dust, so I just don't want to send it to Texas all dirty. Okay, so today is the day. Just got the call from the truck driver. He's actually a day later than he expected, but he just called me. He's about an hour away, and in just an hour, he's gonna be here loading this into the tractor trailer. So. Kind of sad to see the car go for such a long time, but kind of excited as well because I know what it's going to be like when it comes back and the build process is going to be awesome. You know, getting the, the updates from Taylor at Dallas Performance is going to be really cool. I'll keep you guys updated. But right now, I mean, I've got the car on a battery tender um, and I've got all my stuff out of it and I'm just going to start it up and let it warm up so it's ready to go when it gets here. drive parts in this little uh, Rubbermaid thing. Here's the drive shaft that they'll be putting back in to turn the car back to all-wheel drive. And I don't want to open it all up, but I've got the front differential and the front axles inside there. So they'll be converting it back to all-wheel drive. Okay, so I think I hear the truck outside. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's definitely gotta be him. Yep, that's him. That is a huge truck. Let's go see you outside. That's gonna cause a traffic jam.
right side's lower. familiar uh, sorry for my voice sounds weird I think I'm coming down with a cold or something but uh, today is Tuesday the car was picked up on Friday so it's been one two three four days and it's made its way all the way up here in Maine all the way down here to Missouri uh, I haven't been really obsessing over it like I did in my documentary when I bought the car mainly because I think I've been through this before um, I think you'll be in Dallas if not tomorrow, the next day, so probably Thursday, the car will be dropped off. I'm pretty excited. So that means next week, next Monday, um, Taylor and the guys at Dallas Performance can get started on the car. They said they could get started on, um, let's see, February 22nd. So if the car's there by Thursday or Friday, that's plenty of time for them to get started on that Monday. So if they start on, on Monday, February 22nd, it's a six to eight week build, so let's see here. March 22nd would be a month. March and then April 22nd would be two months. So I could get the car back by the first week in May. That'd be cool, just when weather starts getting nice. So probably even be able to make it to the Bon Eagle Car Show. So just want to make a quick little update. I won't make a bunch of updates following the driver this time like I did in the documentary. I'll just make another update when it gets into Dallas.